Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to install the Mosquito MQTT broker on our Windows operating system. So first of all, go to your browser and search for Mosquito MQTT broker. Here, go to this Eclipse Mosquito. And uh, here you will find the download page there. Here we have lot of options. So scroll down to Windows and download the Windows uh, x64 exe file for our 64-bit operating system. Click on that and download in the downloads folder. Once the download is completed, open your downloads directory. Now run this exe file as administrator. In the window that will come to ask you to launch the file, click on yes. So in this window, click on next. Here uh, you may have already installed the Visual Studio Runtime, but if you are not aware, just keep it clicked as it is and run the uh, Mosquito client, MQTT client as a service. Check this service icon and click on next. Next it will show you the destination folder where it will be installed. So I will keep it as it is, but you can change if required. So now click on install. Once the installation is finished, click on finish. Now we have installed the Mosquito broker. So you can see in our C directory, program files. Here we have the folder for Mosquito. And it is the Mosquito.exe. Now the Mosquito client installation is finished. First of all, let's check if it is installed correctly. So launch the command prompt. Now go to your C drive, program files, dash mosquito. Now here run mosquito dash h and press enter. So here you can see the version of Mosquito which is installed. Now the Mosquito is not globally available. For example, if you go to any other directory out of your Mosquito directory and if you run the same command, it will not run because the Mosquito is not globally available. To make our Mosquito client available globally, we need to go to environment variables and add this installation path in the environment variables. So Copy this path in the search, search for environment variables. Here click on environment variables. Now inside system variables, search for path, select it and click on edit. Now here click on new and paste your mosquito client path and then click on OK. And again in this window click on OK and here again click on OK. Now launch the CMD or command prompt and run the command mosquito space dash h and now you can see our mosquito client is globally available. We don't need to execute this command from the installation folder of the MQTT client. Now, as we want to use our MQTT client as a service, we need to make it to start automatically whenever laptop or a computer starts. So here, go to services or search for services. Now here, search any of the service and then 
click the M button on your keyboard, the M button. Now scroll down and search for Mosquito Broker. Now right click on it and search for properties. And here for the startup type, make it automatic if it is not already set to automatic. Now click on apply and click on OK. Now our Mosquito client is set up correctly. Before we proceed further, first of all, let's check if it is working properly. So first of all, open two command prompt windows. Arrange them side by side so that you can see both of them. So in the first window, we will write a command which will publish something on a MQTT topic. So type the command mosquito. underscore pub space then you dash h and then your IP address so here we will type local host because we are subscribing and publishing on the same computer then press or enter dash t space enter your topic name like my message then space dash m to specify the message which will be hello world then press space then dash q to specify the quality of service and give the quality as one and press enter now we have published to this topic but we have no subscriber to listen to this topic so in the another cmd type the command mosquito underscore sub subscribe to a topic then dash h space localhost space dash t topic name my message space dash q quality as one and press enter now here the cursor is blinking which means we have subscribed to this topic and we are listening now in the Publish a window again run the same command and here you can see the hello world message is received by the subscriber window so try to do it again you can try to change the message if you want and press enter you can see the message is received so our mosquito client is ready to receive the request from any device can receive the topics, the messages, and it can publish to the subscribed clients. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe my channel if you like my videos, and please hit the like button. This video will help you.